Hey Siri, what's the temperature going to be today? The high temperature today will be 59 degrees Fahrenheit oh, and the chilly. low will be 45 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how I like to start my mornings. In silence. Which is rare to get in New York City and I'm very fortunate to have it. I don't know if you can hear that, but like birds are chirping. Ugh, the sun is shining. It is a good day. Oh my god, my hunchback is probably so bad. Don't. Don't. <laughs> My hair right now, I look like Will Byers, babe. Mom, Vecna. Um, <laughs> so this week's video, I'm gonna do um, what last week's video was supposed to be, which is my new routine in New York City. I attempted to film it last week, but I got the nastiest fucking stomach bug, like, whoa. But I think it's going around because a lot of people in my comments were like, yeah, I had that too, I had that too. I'm like, okay, stop trying to copy me. God, get your own sickness, babe. Sometimes I wonder why I like open my mouth. Oh, I have to take my green juice. All that junk inside your trunk. I'm gonna get, get, get you drunk, get you enough drunk off my humps. I don't know what is in the air, but the black eyed peas, I cannot stop singing their music, but I haven't listened to a single song. It's all from like memory, which is crazy. If you guys like ever had a mother, okay. In the car, my mom would have like three CDs that she would switch between. It would be Prince, Adele, or Black Eyed Peas, and whatever the new album was. The album 21 by Adele, The End by Black Eyed Peas, Monkey Business by Black Eyed Peas, like those albums are still like etched into my brain. Treat me really nicely, they bite me all the ices. Don't cheat, I'm gonna Oh god, I have to listen to it. I have to listen to it right now. My favorite part of the day, my lunch break, where I don't have to work. And you already know what I got. You already know what I'm about to eat. A chicken Caesar wrap, yes, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God, wait. It's on a spinach wrap, so it's technically a salad. Oh wait, it is a salad. Mm -hmm. Unmatched. It's unmatched. There's someone in here the entire time. Got some PR to unbox. Lovely. And some sushi for dinner. Uh, this is from Isamiyake, so what is this? I don't really know. Handle with care. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, no. Nothing pisses me off more when I get packages and there's like this stupid like shit in it. Give me the product, babe. Like, what is this? Hay? Oh my fucking horse. Do we? Now I, have to, now I have to vacuum. We are thrilled for you to be the one first. I don't feel like reading. Are you fucking kidding me? There's more shit in here. So it did come broken because the way they packaged this was so idiotic. So they super glued the cap to the point where I can't even use it as a cap anymore. Worst PR packaging award goes to Isemiyake. Oh my God, it's everywhere. <laughs> Imagine they smell like shit. Okay, this smells phenomenal actually. Okay. Fragrances are bomb, but packaging, kill yourself. Give me sushi or give me death. Full day of work, full day of fun. I only go into the office two days a week, so those are past now. So now I got Thursday through Tuesday is the next time I go into the office to just chill. I, I, obviously, I still have to work, duh, but don't have to like wake up and go to the office. So we got tuna avocado, spicy yellowtail, and spicy tuna. I love tuna. This is my second Diet Coke of the day. I need to like actually chill. I drink so much Diet Coke and I know it's like a trend right now to love Diet Coke, but I, I, I think I actually have a problem because the amount of Diet Coke I ingest is it cannot be healthy. In fact, I know it's not healthy. With any meal, it should be like, oh yeah, like water. No, I say, yeah, Diet Coke, like duh. 
You know, it's the one thing in this awful fucking world that I allow myself to have. So, you know what? I'm going to keep drinking it. See? It's happy. Okay, let's try the spicy tuna. That's okay. It's not the best. Let's try the spicy yellowtail. Okay. Tuna, avocado. That one's good. So since I moved and I'm living solo, I'm trying to now figure out the spots to go to. So like everyone's like, oh yeah, I have my Chinese spot, my sushi spot, my Thai spot, my Mexican spot, my Italian spot. So I have to try to find those places. And this place will not be my sushi spot. But beggars can't be choosers, right? I literally just chose the first one that showed up on DoorDash pickup, so. Yeah. I don't really get how I missed the package when they had to open my mailbox to put this slip in. Just put the fucking package in there, maybe. <coughs> Who else heard that? I'm really scared. The one thing I have realized is that I am constantly alone. Which is not a bad thing. You guys should know I love, love being alone. I love my alone time. It's just a lot of it. It's a lot. So I have to figure it out. Do some gym classes and meet people there or... But that's also not my main priority right now. My main priority is staying happy, staying healthy, and keeping my finances in order. I don't know what it is, but I have this like insane fear of going broke. And I don't know why because like I have a full-time job. I don't know, it's just like, I think it's just the fear of me being alone, truly for the first time like ever, like financially alone, like no help from parents. It's just a little scary and I'm like, oh fuck. I'm a full on adult. I'm a full on adult. How fucked is that? How fucked is that? If you've been a subscriber of mine for a very long time, then you would know that this time last year, literally, like literally this time last year, I had no fucking idea what my life was gonna look like a year from now which is right now and look at where i am living alone independent full-time job in manhattan things will work out people okay stop being so hard on yourself whoa was i like going crazy i'm like i don't know what to do with my life like i don't want to work at all this job like blah, blah, blah. can i shut up i'm fine PR, shocker. Oh my god, my neighbor slams their fucking door every time. Like, relax. And no, I haven't spoken to a single soul in this building, and I intend to keep it that way. The days I work from home are just so drastically different from when I go into the office. Well, duh, but like, I'm just so much more relaxed and like chill. Like, it's 5.22, I just ended. I went to CVS, got some shit, went to Trader Joe's. Good vibes, you know? I'm feeling really good, actually. Really good energy today. I'm very excited about this. This is tushy. This is a bidet that you attach to your toilet. <laughs> and they sent this to me to review for my job. So that's really fun. I feel like a lot of you don't know what I do. I'm a social media manager for a company called First Finds, which is like a new startup under the umbrella that is Hearst Magazines, and they own like Cosmopolitan, Elle, Town & Country, Harper's Bazaar. So it's, it's actually really cool. And it's like a place you can go to to find like new items, trending items, viral things. This will be on there if it's good. Let's open this one first though, because I don't know what this is. This is a PR package from a brand called Jackfur. Cleanser, moisturizer, shave cream, blah, blah, blah. This looks like one of those brands that are, um, it's like catered to men. Nothing should be catered to men. Fuck them. So this is what it looks like. Oh God, me trying to set this up right now, it's not gonna be cute. Turn off water supply valves. And yes, this does count as my new jelly routine because like every day I have to like set up something, test something out, or like review something for work. So this is accurate. I can't do this. <laughs> oh my God, I fucking did it. I did it! That was actually so easy. I'm just an idiot.
I just talking about how I have like a problem with this? Whatever. Let me put you guys on. Actually, I feel like this might be a thing already. The chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's is so good. Saute that shit with some oil, put some extra soy sauce and maybe like a little bit of butter. You're done. You're done. And if you want to get even like fucking crazy, crack another egg. There is some egg in there already. Crack another egg in there. Oh my God. Mmm. Let's see how she came out today. You know what I think it is? I actually think I just don't like the espresso I got. I've been experimenting with different espressos and I just don't think I like this one. I went to Trader Joe's and got these cinnamon. Oh God, I wish I could remember just like one thing. I went to Trader Joe's and got cinnamon coffee. Oh, someone put a bullet through my skull. Cinnamon coffee cake muffins, yum. So you already know I heated up half in my toaster, put some like butter on it too. Okay, what the fuck? That's so delicious. Wow, that was so good. I literally just ate that entire thing and I recorded it. <laughs> was I was probably just like staring at the space, just mindlessly eating that muffin. Oh, anyway. Today is Friday. I wake up a little bit earlier on Fridays so I can do my morning routine and go to the gym. So I fit in going to the gym during the morning time because I usually have plans because I'm so like popular and I have so many friends. Okay, the fuckers at my gym saw my TikTok about the Milano Market um, Caesar wrap, and they said, go to this deli that's right by the gym and try their Caesar wrap. So you know what I did? I got that fucking Caesar wrap, and I'm gonna eat it. Oh my God, this fucking wind, can you sh shut up? I always get so excited when I have a new Caesar wrap to try. Like, oh, are you kidding? They grilled it. Okay, ready? Cucumbers? We're off to a bad start. Plus one point for the grilling, minus two points for the cucumbers. Since when? Um, I hate it. It's really bad. It's almost, it's to the point where like, I'm annoyed that I spent money on it. I really don't like this. And I will be telling the people who told me to get it that it sucked. They're like, please, like, they're like, tell me if you like it or not. Not. But I will eat it. All right, so I gotta work now and clean my apartment, change my sheets. Fun vibes. Shake Shack, shake that ass. I'm seeing Evil Dead Rise with my friends. I'm not gonna show my friend because I don't like her. You're the stupidest person I know. I fucking hate you. You don't know shit. Okay. On our way to see Evil Dead Rise, we'll update later. Mommy is definitely with those maggots. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it's Saturday. That movie was fucked, but I loved it. And I'm literally seeing it again tonight with my friend Eddie. I like horror movies, what can I say? But before I do that, I'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls because... Because Sunday I... Is... Oh, today's Saturday. <laughs> Saturdays I like to bake. Actually, that's for Sundays, but I'm bored. And the movie isn't until 10, so I'm gonna do it now. Mmm. That's basically my routine. Over the course of like four days, I recorded. I wake up, I work, I record content, I go to the gym, I hang out with my friends, I eat dinner. I live a very simple life, and that's the way I like it. Anyway, let's see what Eddie thinks about Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> 
Wow. Um, that was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs>